Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Pagga and let's play some chess and try to have some fun as well. Okay, got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense, c6, d5. Can develop the bishop early and play pawn forward. So it's a standard opening which you can play against any kind of an opening. Oh, I missed the move. I shouldn't have played bishop early. Uh, knight bishop early was bad there but thankfully my opponent didn't see that coming so we're good okay bishop under attack let's get back open does take opens up the edge file which is always nice can take here opponent takes with the pawn um what we can do here is play queen here so that uh, if pawn forward we can take exchange and we'll be up upon if not we can take this with the rook and then pawn forward eventually hurts so have to be careful with these kind of exchanges if you're new to the channel please do subscribe and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the videos that I'm posting up daily, approaching 200th video very soon. I started this channel on July 4. 19th Jan would be the 200th video. So uh, four or five days away from here. Okay, knight comes out. Can get my bishop here. Not a bad place for the bishop to be. Would eventually stop opponent from castling on the queen side. Um, I can also develop my knight and castle myself on the queen side. That would be a good idea too. Okay, we change stuff here. So I'm getting control of dark squares now since open hasn't got the dark square bishop and I have it. Uh, let's try and go here. If my open does take, that's also advantageous. Uh, I can take the, with the pawn, but I'd like to take with the queen. Hitting the rook eventually and the pawn right now. Let's see what my opponent does here. Bishop over to d3 would save both for now because queen is already guarding the rook. Okay, bishop g2 is also fine. Um, but I have an idea which gives a check and spoils the castling on this spot. So now we can develop the knight and castle on the queen side, get the rook knight out, and things can change pretty quickly. Okay, let's castle. Our king is safe now. Rook in front of the queen, always a good idea. Let's go uh, here with the knight. I'm hitting the queen. I am in one step away from doing some stuff there as well. Okay, I can attack the queen now. Rook over there is a good move too. I can double up as well. Yeah, let's exchange the queen or I should keep it on the board. Let's exchange. Otherwise, the opponent takes the pawn. So why take a chance? Uh, let's double up here. Can exchange rooks now. Can get my knight here or, or not there. Of course, bishop can take, but over to g4 would work. Yeah, let's go with a knight over here. Willing to give a check next, maybe take a pawn. Everything is working pretty fine. So I do post a lot of content. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'll post only my games. I do put up uh, some Grandmaster games as well. Uh, Vishwanath Anand, we have covered Magnus Carlsen, Kasparov. Definitely go to our channel once and check out some interesting stuff there. Okay. I can take with the knight, give a check again. There is some mate hidden here, which I'm not able to see, but okay, let's continue giving checks. I'll take the rook. Okay, that's another check. Uh, and that's another. This game is easily winning from here, so not an issue. I've defeated Stockfish level 6 in 
uh, lead chess. There's a video on that as well. Defeated Jonathan Strauss. If you haven't seen that, please do see that as well. All right. So yeah, this was easy. A solid opening. Just one mistake I did in the opening that was uh, missing out on the pawn with the bishop was hanging, was attacking it. So let's go and see. Only I think that was the bad move. The rest we were pretty good. Uh, it was exactly here when I missed up. It's a big mistake. Uh, I don't know why I played that, but generally I don't. So that missed out, but my opponent didn't capitalize. So knight comes out and then we exchange stuff. It's a decent amount of uh, advantage, I would say, for black to begin with. And then opponent does take, I take back. Open pushes my bishop, which goes back. Opponent does take, I take back again with the queen. And this is a good position to be. And now, first of all, preventing opponent from castling is important. Otherwise, if I let that happen, say I play a knight here and open does castle, the advantage, which was close to 1.3, now is 1, 0.6 only. So don't let your opponent castle whenever you get a chance and then get up the knight. Open plays a passive move and I castle. Again, now open should be ready uh, with discoveries. Which does happen after he places the rook. Queen goes up and then rook comes in. Again, the best move in the situation as per the computer evaluation as well. Queen comes here and again, uh, you have to be wise enough when to trade and when not to. This was the right time because if you just go back with the tempo, uh, things can be bad as well eventually. See, the advantage went off from 3.5 to 0 0.3. The reason is you are letting opponent develop now get the bishop out uh, and then maneuver the king up so that both the rooks are connected and then rook can be exchanged as well. So don't give that space to your opponent when you are crushing. Uh, and once I do take uh, the advantages, the pawn structure gets spoiled. My rook is already in the second rank, restricting the king's movement. I can easily double up and then I have a knight, which would be disastrous for the opponent. That's what happens in the game. Uh, and then I can take the pawn, but I don't need to because I was cruising that point of time. Opponent proceeds. I take the pawn. That's a check. Right move there. Taking the bishop first, then coming back. And then I can take with the knight as well. Okay. But I took with the rook. Would have taken with the knight. Then I take. Opponent moves. And then a couple of random moves and the opponent just left the game because there was no scope from here as well. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. Do check out a lot of interesting con content on the channel. And yeah, let me know what else I can cover up in the channel. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.